Okay. We're taking a floater pack mission. Central, Big Sky in position on approach of the abduction site. Strike one is awaiting drop clearance. Copy that, Big Sky. I wonder if we could fight from the roof. Like, try to take this heavy cover? I feel like we're going to get flanked if we do that. Okay, nothing on the radar. This roof? Maybe from here. Wait, 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 wait. This is two tiles wide, right? It's two tiles wide. Okay, okay. That's actually a reasonable enough proposition for me. And then what do I do with you? Like my gunner, I'll... I don't know. Let's see. Go to here, see what we can find. Oh, they're over there. Oh my god, that's so many floors at once. Um, well, if we're fighting from that direction, then here and here is reasonable. Where did I see meld? I saw meld over here. We might be able to grab that meld. Um, scouts get up on the roof, because scouts have um, low profile, so they get heavy cover bonuses from these tiles. I'll dash Gunner over here, just for fun. Now, my vague understanding now of pack missions is that those floaters are not the only floaters on the map. Like, there are certainly more. Is it on the roof? It's not on the roof. Okay. Let's go grab this. All right, floaters. I think I have to run this overwatch. I can't just sit there and get shot by all of them. Okay. If we can take out this pod without invoking the wrath of that other pod back there, we're in very good shape, I think. So how does this go? How does this go? On the move. Yasna, начинаю движение. I heard a door. Oh, I don't know where it went. Because it could have launched, right? Um, so the locations it can launch, I think it can launch to anywhere that's like not in cover relative to you. Yes, sir. Estoy en marcha. They're in the vicinity, okay. Eh, ¿habéis oído algo? Think I have to hide? Not sure where to hide there. In the vicinity means I think they got in the building somehow. So maybe it like launched into the building? Who knows? You hear that? I don't understand how launches work. Nothing in here, okay. I can go scouting. What was that they're in the vicinity. Like what I'm kind of afraid of is that like the floaters will bug out and then go to some weird place that like I didn't think that they were going to go to. 
silencio. No habéis oído nada. That's affirmative. There's something out there. Ya no miste. We don't see any floaters yet. Okay, I see one. Don't see anything. And... I don't... I think, like, if we move up, I think we die. Put the shiv here as shoot bait. Uh, continue mission. Maybe that was a bad idea to put the ship there for shoot bait. Oh, yikes. Oh, thanks. We have one on the roof. We can overwatch it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, we've got a bunch more floaters that just activated. Don't like that at all. Um, okay. Go here. Take a shot at you. Is there anywhere we can put the scout to be useful? Let's do this. Nice. Okay, okay. One floater down. All right. So, what we'd like to do is... I can ram for 10. Oh, if I could just get a smoke on the shiv after I ram, that would be pretty clutch, but I don't think that's gonna work. All right, so we are going to back away. We're gonna put infantry here on Overwatch. Hmm. I could put infantry there, but that seems like a profoundly bad idea. Ready. OK. 
Okay, so I think I smoke here. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. We smoke here, and the Stop shiv is gonna there. sit on that tile with the uh, gunner. Take combat ready, and we're gonna suppress. Um, so I guess the question is, do we suppress to kill, or do we suppress to um, put red fog? And I think the answer is, we're gonna suppress to put red fog. So many hit points on the enemy. Now the crazy thing, right? Like we're we're playing on an easier difficulty, so they only have ten hit points. I say only. I think on impossible they have either thirteen or fifteen. It's like pretty nuts. Take a reload. So I do this. Jump down. <laughs> so many floaters. Overwatch. Um. Back away. Reload. I can't see anything, unfortunately. So we're going to smoke. That's a concuss. Smoke like this. Actually, I wonder. Mm, yeah, the problem is if I don't. Yeah, if I don't smoke my shiv. Rather, if I move my shiv out of the way, I think they'll all go for my infantry, and that's not fun. here for fun. Yeah, because if I go here, they'll just start flanking me. Um, now, what if I were to try to come up here? I wonder if I can bait them into coming on the roof. A 25. No, I think I'll take combat ready. I can suppress you to kill and suppress you to red fog. To red fog. Okay, and then. I think we're just gonna do a swaparoo. Here now. Okay. Quick. Oh, I have V. 
vision. Oh, that was not planned. Uh-oh. They have vision on me. Um... That's a big uh-oh moment. Take combat ready again. I'm really just trying to fish for a graze. That's what I'm hoping for. Okay, we're down to 10 floaters left. Yeah, that's the shot I was afraid of, but... God, there's so many. Alright. So this is going to be a smoke turn. number of bullets so I think I just shoot right because like I might accidentally hit something okay cool and yeah same thing I might accidentally hit something okay but I'm gonna I guess I can take a reload and then overwatch sure okay now the problem is I need to use that extra smoke. So I have to actually come back now. We're on cooldown. Move. Move. I don't know if we can make get out of this alive. Well, we actually got reasonably lucky on a lot of those Overwatch shots. Um, that was close. And it definitely helps with the floater AI tends to uh, Overwatch you more than it does, like, run up and shoot you in the face. Okay, so we're going to do this. 73? Oh, you know what? Oh, I have Battle Scanner. Didn't even shoot. Ah. What's the aim on this? 56, jeez. What if I step like that? Smoke the shiv.
concuss on you three. Suppress to kill you. Well, we're still alive. We're still alive. Haven't died yet. Okay. Can I reach a concuss onto here? I can. Okay, hold on. Which one is overwatching me? That's that one. Can I get a concuss all the way over there? I cannot. I cannot. I can concuss these. Hmm. What if I just shotgun? 62. Hmm. I mean... Dead floater is a dead floater. No longer in the water here. I can concuss two. Maybe this is the better concuss. Okay. And we'll take a steady. I can shoot you, but I would rather over. I mean, uh, suppress next turn. Who's that's the one? Okay. I think I just need to go for it. No, wait. Hold on. What can see me if I go here? The same two. It's got 48 aim against my 15 defense of 33. I'm just going to do this. Oh, it's 40%? Yikes. Okay, we're still in it. I think we might have actually done it. So this was a big turn. Um, 
like that. I feel like that entire thing came down to the 40% Overwatch. I granted, even if it had hit, it probably would not have killed. But all right, so let's take a shot. Taking a hundred is well. That's a good hundred. I like that. Not a fantastic concuss, but I feel like I still need to do it. Yeah. Like anything that we can concuss is good. All right, here we go. And take a steady. Suppressed. It's a fifth. Whatever, okay. Okay, so I think I have to draw the Overwatch with the Shiv. Um, and how am I going to draw the Overwatch with the Shiv? How about I do something like this? No. I want to dash away from it. I think this is where we start going crazy. I put like Orlov on the roof. Like this. Yeah, and you're the only one. Okay, so I can come over here. And I'll only get one Overwatch shot, but we'll do this. I feel like I take that 99. I can just take a reload here. Take a reload here. Reload here. I feel like we take this 99, right? Red fog. And then we run out with the shiv. So I really just need to make sure that... I mean, it's a coin flip. If I hit this, it makes the mission a lot easier. Okay, that's fine. Um, we can take a step back. Do this. All right, steadied weapon on you breaks the Overwatch. Now we can actually do this, Battle Scanner. Scanning. It's an 88. Nice, okay, we got it, that's the mission. Watch there be like another pack somewhere. That would be 
hilarious but tragic at the same time. Make sure I didn't miscount. Okay, there's two left. Alright. Really lucky with the shots this mission. Like, unbelievably lucky. I'm so surprised that we made it out of there like in that fashion i god floaters are so scary but i mean it really came down to um overwatch is very good against floaters partially because um of their ai my understanding is like when you overwatch against floaters uh the xcom engine tends to make them sit there and overwatch against you so let's let's take a look acknowledged 35 to 41 shots hit. Very good, very good. Orloff did... I don't know what the parentheses is. It might be like overkill? Maybe. Not sure. 40, either way, 47 damage. Can I see the individual damage dealt? Yeah, 47, 44 on the two infantry. And the gunner did 33 damage. What a baller. What a baller. Damage absorbed, yeah. Shift did great tanking. Yeah, luck. So we had really high luck here, right? Because we hit so many of those like seventy percent shots that honestly I didn't deserve to hit. Um, I don't. I mean, if we hadn't hit a few of those, I'm not sure that the mission would have come out much worse. Just because I'm abusing the AI more than anything. But all right, I might have to take a break. Kind of gassed. All right, let's take a look. Oh, an immediate. It's a landed scout. Ooh, what's her hangar like? Um, okay, so what's the benefit of shooting a scout down? Well, we get the fourth kill on this interceptor, I think, and that's pretty important. Um, I think I'd rather shoot it down than try to um, not shoot it down. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Send my Phoenix Cannons up, try to get a hit on it? Oh, I think, actually, now that I think about it, hold on. When it's, an, when it's a landing scout, I might not even get two interceptions. Let's take a look. Okay, hit it. Now let's go um, mid-64... I can do this, 80 DPS. Engaging bogey. Nice. All right, so that's the, the promoted to Lieutenant Squadron Size 3. So I have four kills on that Interceptor now, so in the future, I can send up three planes at once. And that's a very, very big upgrade to the air game. Um, and that's sort of why I wanted to push for that one. Um, because not only can you take three planes, it also means you can stack experience on three planes, right? So, like, every f future interceptor that I can down with three planes now gives me, like, three EXP instead of two EXP. And each EXP on a plane gives them half a point of aim, which is, like, not significant, right? But, like... It gets me closer to um, the next promotions. So at eight kills, I get to take four planes. And at 16 kills, you get to take five planes. And that's the final upgrade. Um, okay, let's let's take a look at this. What do we get? Emaciated humanoid. I think that means thin men, right? And then a flying hostile. So it's 15 to 19. If you don't shoot down a scout, or I guess any UFO, and it lands... Um, I think you get additional resources. So, like, instead of getting damaged um, flight computers and damaged power sources, you get intact for, like, every single one of them. Um, but also, 
the aliens all show up at full health whereas if you do shoot it down um like it the game does like a certain number of rolls and it like deals damage to the aliens and or kills aliens so the mission ends up being significantly easier um maybe significantly is not the right word but it ends up being easier so we're gonna load out and then i think i'm gonna go take a break and maybe eat lunch or something so it's gonna be a short one all right the shiv we want to take an engineer so it's al2 we can get a muton we have to be a little bit careful so like i don't want to load out too weak of a squad uh, i don't need an alien trophy because i'm going to get a promotion no matter what i can take like a med kit or something everyone's fatigued because we did so many missions back to back we're taking you when this Oh, right, right. I was still thinking about this promotion. Um, now I'm going to experiment with this. I'm going to try building an assault that actually blows things up with grenades. Sure. Okay, um, that's that. Real slim pickings. So I think we're going to take Komar off again. Oh, we haven't had... Oh, we got our first Terra mission already. I don't know the frequency of our second Terra mission. Let me see. Um, you can check out campaign summary. Um, let's see. If I count backwards, that's an abduction... Council mission, terror mission, May 2nd. And what are we on May 8th? Okay, so we're probably safe. I think we can put another mission on Komarov, and he'll be back in time for the terror mission. Now the question is, when and where do we level up our low rank soldiers? And I feel like we have to... Hmm, I think I'm going to take read on the mission well let's see I get another gunner back in 90 so maybe I don't have to level read up here we need a support and it's going to be Kowalski Kowalski I want to take a Rocketeer. Oh, we lost our other Rocketeer, right? They died, unfortunately. We're going to build another Assault. I'm going to trust that the, um, the growth is going to be good enough to get us out of this 6 mobility swamp. But in the meantime, we're just going to shoot with... Actually, we'll shoot with later Carbine, maybe. Gather equipment. Yeah, because that'll give us one more point of mobility. Carbine. Um, wear one of these. Maybe we'll take a med kit. Not sure that I trust the utility of the med kit very much, but taking this, and we're putting a shotgun on you. Wait, do we not get the home ground? Oh, we do. Okay, we're in Mexico. Yes. Uh... Generally, what happens is if you end up having to, like, super exhaust everyone, then you get a break from missions for just a little while. I'm going to take Saito. We have a really weak shooting squad. And let's see. So this map gets a little bit awkward because of, like, there's not a lot of terrain you can advance through. I might just do this. That might solve my problem. 
Right, because basically what I, I think I'm going to have to do on this mission is when I take engagement, I'm going to have to, like, uh, suppress to keep them in place while I steady weapon with these fellows and then shoot them. I might be able to go for a flank. I might not be able to. If anybody's going to flank, it's going to be the shiv. All right, now here's the next question. Do I want to try for a capture? Um... I mean, it could be you. No. If I'm going to try for a capture with anybody, it's got to be you. Yeah, and that means I don't have grenades. No, that's not. That's not okay. I have to have these grenades on a grenadier. I mean, I took fragmentation, right? Like, I can't just not have grenades. Okay, so then it's going to be you. With a ceramic plating. Um, I mean, if I take this, it just gives me an extra... I mean, yeah. The mobility is... How about this? What if I take attack vest? I'm going all in on this, like, he's just going to capture this mission. So I'm basically playing with seven soldiers. Um... Seven weak soldiers. I mean, Komarov is really strong. Komarov can deal guaranteed four damage to something in cover, six guaranteed damage to something out of cover. It can basically one-shot a drone. This soldier is not far behind. The fact that it's on a three-turn cooldown is a little bit awkward. Um... What if I take a jab rocket instead of concusses? Yeah, how about that? And I'll take a carbine. Smiths, let's take a laser rifle instead on you. You're going to steady a weapon. Hmm. Look at the rest of the barracks. Who else could I take instead? I could extra fatigue and infant. I feel like I'm going to need those infantry on a harder mission. No. No, no, no. We just have to go with this squad and, and, and make it work. Okay. All right. So instead of launching this mission, I'm going to go ahead and save and take a break. It has been a great pleasure. Thank you for tuning in. And I will... Oh, not there. I will see some of you next time. Peace.